in Creo Parametric, you can create draft features that have multiple angles. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I have an assembly open. I used this model for creating draft and draft with splits in other videos. Let's open up this part from the assembly and take a look at how to use multiple angles. I have a draft feature in here. Let's select it and edit definition. And right now we just have one angle for 30 degrees. Let's go to the angles tab in the dashboard. If you want to create an additional handle, you can right click and choose add angle. And we get an additional handle for changing the draft. You can grab this and you can drag it to move it to a different location on the edge if you want to. You can see the value is changing. This value is something called the length ratio. It takes the length of the edge and normalizes it between zero at one end and one at the other end. And you're going to enter in a value between zero and one to determine the location. If I double click on this number and change its value to one, you'll notice that its symbol changes. And in the tab, it tells us that now it's located at the vertex or the edge. Another way of adding another handle for changing the draft is to put your mouse over this and then choose add angle. We get another handle over here. And again, I can double click on this to change the value. If I make it 0.25, it's going to be located one quarter along the length of the edge. And again, I can create a, another one by right clicking and choose add angle. We get another location. And if I change this value to zero, just like the first handle that I added over here. The shape of it changes and its location is now listed as being on the vertex or the edge. If you decide that these are way too many handles for changing the angle, you could right click on any of them and choose delete angle. You can also do that in the graphics area. Right click over here and choose delete angle and it goes away. Let's take a look at changing the value of the angle. So this one over here, here's the one for changing the angle. I can drag it into the model to make it bigger and you can see how it's changing the geometry. By the way, the maximum amount of draft that you can put in the model is 89.9 degrees. That value was changed, I believe, in Creo 2.0. Uh, previously, it had, had been plus or minus 30 degrees. Let's grab this and drag it so that it's lower. Let's go to 20 degrees over here. And you can see how the geometry is changing. And it's interpolating from one angle to the other angle. Another thing that you can do, and you want to be careful with this one. Let me angle it over here. I'm going to right click on here and choose the option to flip the angle. And you'll notice now it's 20 degrees measured from the vertical in the other direction. You want to be real careful about this because, because remember, the point of the draft feature is to add taper to your models to facilitate removing them from a mold. Well, in this case here, you wouldn't be able to remove this out of here. It would be trapped in there. So let's go back to, right. we can do it from here. We can right click and we can choose flip angle from the tab as well. And so now we have something with geometry that we can create. And so that is the way that you can make a draft feature with multiple angles. Let me hit the check mark to complete this and it regenerates the model. And there you have it. Oops, one last thing I forgot to show you. Let's edit definition of that draft feature. Let's say that you no longer want it to have multiple angles. You could delete them. Also, if you hold down the right mouse button, here you have from the pop-up menu, make constant. You choose that and all the other additional drag handles go away. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.